Did you recently purchase a small Class D amplifier with the hopes to connect your turntable or record player and as soon as you did, instead of hearing great music, all you heard was this tiny little sound like me, 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 and you can't figure out how to get it to sound correctly? Well, that's not uncommon with these small Class D amplifiers without a proper phono input. So let me show you two quick, easy ways to connect your turntable to a small Class D amp. Someone recently asked me on my Instagram page how to connect the turntable to one of these Class D amplifiers. And I sort of first thought that was common knowledge, but then it occurred to me that these really only ever come with one RCA input. And if you're a newcomer to vinyl and just bought a turntable and you don't understand how this connection works, then when you plug up your record player to it, it's not going to sound right. And that's because we need a phono preamp in between your turntable and this Class D amplifier. And the reason for that is because that tiny little needle on the cartridge on your turntable produces a real small sound. In fact, you're hearing it when you're just playing a record without any amplification. It's just real tiny. It's like And you need a phono preamp to amplify that sound to line level so that our ears can actually hear it. Now, a lot of vintage receivers and even more modern day receivers have this phono preamp built in. That's why it says phono. You connect your turntable directly to that input and you're ready to go. But in the case of these Class D amplifiers, this is just a regular RCA connection. It's not for turntables or record players. So when you connect directly to it, you just can't hear anything. Now, there's two ways to go about this. One, you can get an external phono preamp or you can turn your turntable around and there's a good chance there is a switch on the back that shows you how to make this connection. Let me show you first how to flip your turntable around and look for that. And then if you don't have that option on your turntable, we can discuss how to connect a phono preamp in between your turntable and this amplifier. Let's look at the turntable first. Okay, most modern turntables have a built-in phono preamp, and when you turn the unit around, what you are looking for is basically this switch right here. It'll say phono input or line input. Now, in order to connect to this Class D amplifier, we need to change this to line input, and we will be using the internal phono preamp in the turntable. So once you make that selection go from phono to line input, then all you have to do is just make your regular connection. So we're just gonna go RCA into there, RCA there, RCA again, and then RCA there. Now with the line input selected, you're gonna be using the internal phono preamp and it will now play properly through the Class D amplifier on this RCA input. Okay, if you have a, let's say a vintage turntable or even a modern turntable, it does not have a built-in phono preamp, then we are going to need to use an external phono preamp, just sort of like this boring little black box looks like here. Now there's a lot of options of these and they vary in price considerably. Um, I'll put a link to uh, some of these in the description below, all the way from very affordable to more expensive. But this on the rear is going to have an input for your turntable and an output to the receiver. So let me show you how you make this connection. Your turntable will most likely have its own installed RCA cables like this. So you're going to connect these cables from your turntable into the input slot on the preamp. So like this and like this. This ground cable should go to here in the middle. And uh, that one doesn't really want to fit, but we'll just pretend like it sticks for now. Next, we want to connect the phono preamp to the amplifier. We'll do that by grabbing an uh, extra pair of RCA cables. And we will connect this to there and this to there. Now, obviously I don't have this plugged up to power, but what you will want to do is power on the phono preamp, and then you will be able to power on your amplifier and turn that to the RCA input on your amp. And what's happening is the signal is now traveling from your turntable through this preamp, which is boosting the audio to line level so that we can hear it through this amplifier. 
So if you don't have this connection on a turntable without a, a built-in phono preamp, you're just going to get that quiet sound. So uh, if you have a vintage turntable and you've bought one of these Class D amplifiers, this is the way to make that connection. Well, those are the two main ways to make the connection to a Class D amplifier with a turntable to make sure you get the best sound possible. Hopefully this was helpful, but if not, in my channel description itself, I actually, there's an email address to me. Feel free to email me and ask me any questions. I'll be happy to help you make that connection, especially if you're a beginner and you just got a brand new turntable and you bought one of these small amplifiers and you're just struggling to make it sound right. Be happy to help you out, just shoot me an email. Now, this isn't the first video I've made to help people sort of figure out how to make these connections. I also have a video showing how to hook up a turntable using an auxiliary input on a receiver that may not have a phono input. If you'd like to watch how to make that connection, you can do so by watching this video here.